for stopping by the Marita Minutes. Before I get started, I'd like to say that everything on my channel is alleged and in my opinion and done for entertainment purposes only. If you are new here, welcome. To all my new subscribers, thank you for joining me on my journey. Please like, share, and subscribe. It is free. Now let's get into it. Listen, y'all. Um, I don't know what Portia was thinking about when she decided to up and marry Simon. She really must have thought that whole year she was messing with him, that he was a pushover, that he was a get over. She clearly didn't do her homework. I wonder if she already knew at that point that he'd already been married five times, right? I think it's, is it five including her or five before her? I don't know. However, you can't tell me that she didn't go into this marriage without thinking of an exit strategy. I don't care what no one says. You can't tell me that she went into this, like this is who I want to marry and be with for the rest of my life. I'm sorry. Now, I'm not saying that she didn't enjoy hanging out with him and being wined and dined because prior to um, them coming out saying that they had fell in love within 30 days, we all know now that according to Fallon, that she and Simon had been messing around for approximately about a whole year prior to her even finding out. And evidently he was messing with other people too, but she knew that Portia was one of the ones that he was dealing with. Now, I don't know what Portia was thinking, but I guess, you know, when you are out on the outside looking in, right? You really don't know what people are dealing with on a day-to-day -day basis. So I guess from Portia's view, Fallon was living her life. She had a rich man. Her children were taken care of. And she had, didn't have to want for nothing. She was walking around like a socialite. And Portia was in love with the lifestyle. Not Simon, but the lifestyle. When she saw a pathway of getting to that, I'll put it in, in housewife terms, when she saw a pathway to the first chair, meaning the oust Fallon, or when things started to break down with Fallon, Fallon, I guess, I don't know. Simon knew that she was dealing with the help or whatever. I don't know. When she saw that that was on the, on the verge of, being whatever, Portia zoomed right in. Portia, you mean to tell me, Portia knew that he was seeing other people. She knew that. Or she, she really didn't care. She wanted the lifestyle. Okay, so let's say Fallon's gone. They get together. They start hanging out a little bit more than normal. He starts whisking her away to Costa Rica or whatever, that little place that he always wound up at. And now, She's in the first chair. <laughs> Simon is looking at her as a money grab. And she's looking at Simon, I feel like, as a money grab. Portia had all these jobs. I mean, she was doing it for herself. She was living in her own house. She had her own million dollar house for her PJ and her mom. She was on Dish Nation. She did Amazon stuff. She was selling sheets. And hair, I think she still has her hair stuff, go naked hair. And then, she, of course, she was on Land Housewives. So his thing was, she ain't no slouch, which she wasn't. So what would be the harm, right, in marrying this girl? She ain't going to want for nothing. However, Simon clearly ain't no fool, right? He's been married four or five times prior to Portia. Whether he saw this coming or not, he was prepared. Trust and believe. However, the tables turned because I don't think Portia saw what was coming with Simon. Where Simon was easygoing, laid back, thought she, he was going to let her run over him. 
uh, uh, uh. <laughs> I might not lash out. I might not argue or whatever, but he knows how to argue in court. And that's all that matters when it comes to you trying to bogart and put me out my own house. Now, with that being said, this house that she wants to be able to film in and live in until it's sold, according to the doc documents that have been read online, that was strategic in Simon's part too. You can't tell me that they weren't out looking at houses and he didn't know exactly what Portia was looking for as far as the house. Now, maybe they had talked about, oh, we should get this house, or we should get this house, we should get this house. I think he put in his mind that he was going to buy the house prior to them getting married without really discussing it with Portia. And just say, here, here I bought the house, the one you love, this is for you, blah, 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 blah. Now, maybe he said it eventually we'll put your name on it or whatever and it never came about. But I think Portia is smart enough to know, and then again, I don't know, that anything purchased before marriage is not marital property. So you're not entitled to it. Even if it's sold, you get none of the proceeds. So I don't know what she was thinking about as far as, I don't know how she was, I don't know what, she, what she's thinking about. Anyway, either her exit strategy wasn't foolproof or she executed it too quickly and fooled it herself, or whoever she's out there in the streets dealing with sped up her timeline to get out and it messed it all up all together because clearly she wasn't ready. She didn't have all her ducks in a row like she thought she did. Only married for 15 months. Is that all you could stomach him for was 15 months? I mean, if the last I heard online is something about the nanny coming out and declaring what she saw as far as Portia's character, leaving her with the kids. And I guess PJ's father had her, but she wasn't staying home to watch his kids, so she left them on the nanny. So if Portia's, you know, gallivanting around the countryside, where was Simon? Just asking, because if because the nanny said she would be gone for days at a time, right? Where was Simon? They weren't together. I just think, you know, both of them were doing what they wanted to do. And it got to the point where, you know, this is fizzled out. <laughs> I'm going to get what I can get out of, the, out of the deal and move on. However, Portia was not ready. For Simon. Now, this is the man that said he had a moving company on speed dial in his phone. Trust and believe. He might not have thought it was going to happen in 15 months, but he was prepared for when it did happen. I don't know, Portia. It don't look good for you, girl. It don't look good at all. Now you got the nanny coming out saying stuff about your character. He is a character witness. <laughs> I don't know what you think you're going to get. You was only married for 15 months. I don't know what a, a, a Georgia law is as regards divorce, but 15 months can't be enough for him to say that you was accustomed to a lifestyle because you, you stopped working on purpose so that if you did leave, he had to maintain your lifestyle. I don't know if 15 months is enough, but we'll see. Good luck with that, girl. Well, that's all I have, everyone. And I tried to do it in my read a minute. Please like, share, and subscribe. And leave a comment down below. Everyone be blessed. Peace.